You're a nice performer coming to the stage all the way from Washington, D.C. Give it up for Isa O'Neill! Uh, I've just started my second year at university. I don't have the best social life over there. <laughs> I remember one time I asked the girl out, and she told me she wanted to think about it. And it's been almost a year now. <laughs> She must be very thoughtful. <laughs> I asked the girl out uh, my first year at university, and uh, she told me she'd think about it. <laughs> Sorry, I already told that joke. <laughs> I asked her about my first year at university, <laughs> and, and she said no. <laughs> so I asked her out again uh, this, uh, this year, and she told me she was glad I asked her out again. She was worried she wasn't clear enough the first time. <laughs> I was at a party, and a girl came up to me, and she told me she was incredibly horny. And she liked to have sex with the first guy she saw. And oh golly. She must have had a gigantic blind spot. <laughs> I and the girl were walking and talking, and we were getting to know each other. And one of the things I got to know about her is she really likes to walk alone. Now, some men might be dispirited by that. <laughs> but not me. Because I'm familiar with the expression, you win some, and you lose some. And I've already lost quite a bit. So I'm overdue for a win. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a Halloween party, and I asked the girl what she was dressed as, and she told me she was dressed as Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> and I told her I'd never watched the show, and she uh, walked away, turned around, and shouted, You should watch the show, asshole. So later that night, I texted her. I wrote, Hey, I just watched season one of the Powerpuff Girls. You want to get a drink sometime? <laughs> and she texted me, Talk to me when you want season three. That's when it gets good. So later that night, I texted her. <laughs> I wrote, hey, I just watched season three of the Powerpuff Girls. How about that drink? And she texted me, did you watch season two? And I texted her, no, I skipped ahead to season three. I heard that's when it gets good. And she texted me, you haven't seen season three of the Powerpuff Girls. 
unless you've seen season two first. Uh, so the next morning, I texted her. I wrote, hey, I just watched season two of the Powerpuff Girls. How about that drink? And she texted me, Isa, you will never forgive yourself unless right now you rewatch season three of the Powerpuff Girls so you can experience it in context. So around lunchtime, I texted her. I wrote, hey, I just rewatched season three of the Powerpuff Girls. I'm really looking forward to that drink. And she texted me, I'm not going to go out with a guy who stays up day and night watching the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Last summer, uh, this summer, I interned for a media company. I was the only intern assigned to the company's finance department. So I immediately had a desk plaque commissioned for myself, which read, Isa J. O'Neill, Chief Finance Intern. <laughs> Unfortunately, my new position did not come with a desk to put a plaque on. <laughs> or a salary. <laughs> or any responsibilities. <laughs> or college credit. <laughs> or respect, <laughs> or prospects for the future. I asked my boss if I could uh, be paid, and he told me I already was being paid uh, with experience, the best payment of all. And I told him that surely experience wasn't as good of a payment as experience and a salary, which is what he was getting. And he told me he was getting paid with a salary because his work was important, unlike mine. And I asked him, are you saying that my work isn't important to you or the company? And he, and he said, yes. <laughs> You've been an above average audience, thank you.